Hi guys, how are you doing today? Today's video is going to be a come shot with me at Primark. Um, I'm filming the intro after the fact that I've been, so I can tell you for sure that we're going to see some autumn goodies in store today, unlike the last time I went, which was at the beginning of September, and now it's at the end of September, but this won't go up until the big, like, beginning of October, but, um, yeah, so we're going to see some autumn goodies in Primark today, and I went to the Central Milton Keynes one rather than the one in MK1 Bletchley by the Milton Keynes Stadium, because the one in, um, Centre MK is a lot more socially distanced, as in there's a lot more room to manoeuvre and it's over three floors rather than two and it's bigger and they have a much better selection of men's stuff anyway, um, in terms of, well, just a big men, bigger menswear selection I think, although it feels more spaced out, it's got its own floor basically, if you haven't seen my videos before then I'm telling you. Um, and I prefer it to the one at Bletchley now, even though you have to pay for parking and stuff. But anyway, well, I'm going to show you around um, what's new in for autumn at Primark Menswear. Um, there is going to be a voiceover, so sorry about that. So here we go, an autumn look into what Primark has to offer. So firstly, coming up the escalators, this is what we're greeted with in the trending now section. That very t-shirt looks very Fred Perry and those endless things look very boohoo, not really my thing, but if it's yours, you do you. Got some travel stuff here, which was surprising, um, but I suppose you're allowed to travel again. This bum bag interests me because um, it was orange. And then there was this waist pack, which as I'm starting to run was interesting at four pounds. Lots of different colored hoodies on offer and sweatshirts. Um, I believe that eight to ten pounds. Um, that jumper was ten pounds. Some of the twelve. This Tokyo one in the beige is really nice. Really liked that. Some more trending now. This is what's trending now. Apparently, just a lot of jumpers and hoodies and cargo pants seem to still be here to stay. And this bomber jacket was twenty as well. Seen that before. Really like the look of these trainers for £16 um, with the memory foam. Looks really interesting, nice colours as well. Um, don't need any more, but you'll see what I bought tomorrow. Camo sweatshirt was quite nice at £10 to look a bit incognito, if you will. Um, and then I really like that jacket. We saw that the last time I was in um, Primark. You can click the i button to see that come shop with me. Now this jacket. I've got a jacket very similar to this, really liked it, and it was only £12, which I thought was really nice, very 80s. This cardigan was really nice as well, lots of nice work wear in, which we'll get to. Um, what was this? This was some more like jeans and like more trending now, a lot of cargo pants for, they were £18, which I thought was a little bit pricey for Primark, they also had denim cargo pants. Now we're going into more autumn fall jumpers. There are lots of nice different cable knits. These were 10 to 12 pounds. Lots of different interesting colours. This orange colour seemed to be a feature throughout Primark. We'll see some more of this later. They still had some tie-dye stuff if you are into that. I know that was a big trend over the summer. I really liked that greeny ashes wash colour. And some polo shirts as well. These were nine pounds. I really like this um, blue one with the pattern on there um this jacket was interesting it was 30 quid but it looked really iridescent in store can't really see that it was kind of camo but you can't really see that um on the camera there was a lot of marvel stuff and then i saw these plimsolls these were in when i was in like 10 years ago back at school and i thought are they back in now they were three pound fifty if you want to go get you the, some of those. Now we're moving on to more workwear. They had some really nice suits. I don't need to wear a suit to work, but really nice ones. £35 for a jacket, not bad in that really nice colour. There's some really nice um, overcoats in here. They were £45. This one looked more, it's not coming up true to colour on the camera, but it was more of a camel colour in store. And they also had it in navy, if that's a colour that you would prefer. £45 I suppose it's about half price of what they'd be in like top man and stuff and they have some really nice these 
are thick um, cotton shirts which are really nice lots of different check patterns this one was particularly my favorite really a bit burberry-esque or burberry logo i suppose moving on to some denim stuff lots of nice denim jackets that caught my fancy and these ones with the shirling i believe they've got shirling inside they were 25 pounds and um that's what you can see on the model on the back that's got paired it with a roll neck some more jumpers here for 10 pounds lots of interesting textures like that brown one and then we'll see there's another orange colored one there as well and then a brighter orange on this side for 10 pounds as well with lots of cream and then gray and this um jumper here the movie colored white one really caught my eye really like that i believe that was 12 pounds and they also had some scarves which i believe were three pound as well so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed a little come shop with me i am going to be doing a haul in the next video so stay tuned for that to show you what i actually got and picked up there was quite a few things i did spend over 50 pounds um very naughty slap wrist but there were some good bargains from the sale stuff as well as did i pick up i picked up a few things that weren't in the sale as well so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching subscribe if you haven't already up here down there wherever it is um follow on instagram linked below and i'll see you in my next one bye